Now to the latest in that helicopter crash near Baker, Nevada, that claimed six lives. Federal investigators back on the scene today, hoping to learn why it went down. Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Suter is live in Burbank, where the helicopter company is based. She has the latest tonight. Leanne? That's right, Jory, and federal investigators now beginning the slow and tedious task of piecing together what led that helicopter to crash to the ground and burst into flames. NTSB investigators spent the day combing the crash site for clues as to what caused the helicopter to crash, killing all six on board. The airworthiness group began detailed examination of the debris field. The debris field was approximately 100 yards in length. For the victim's friends and family, a day of mourning. Access Bank posting a heartfelt tribute online to Herbert Wigwi, head of one of the largest banks in Nigeria. The post calling his death a painful exit, saying his legacy will never be forgotten. Wigwi, his wife Chizoba, and their son were all killed in the crash, along with Bamafin Amambola Ogunbanjo, former chair of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. They were all reportedly headed to the Super Bowl. The two pilots on board also died in the accident. Investigators say the Airbus EC-130 is operated by Orbic Air out of Burbank Airport and was following the I-15 when it suddenly went down. Near the end of the flight track data, it shows a slight right turn turning south of the interstate. At that time, data shows a gradual descent and increasing ground speed. The wreckage site shows the helicopter impacted the terrain in a nose low and right bank angle. The helicopter had taken off from Palm Springs headed to Boulder City, Nevada, outside of Las Vegas, when it went down in the Mojave Desert Friday night just after 10. NTSB investigators say they are looking into reports of downed power lines near the accident site and have confirmed there was a wintry mix of precipitation at the time of the crash. The fact that there was some weather in the area is going to be one of the things that the NTSB will certainly take a very hard look at. There were certain conditions, uh, extreme ice, freezing rain, things of this nature that you would not want to be up in. All part of the ongoing investigation, the NTSB says it will be moving the wreckage on Tuesday to continue its in-depth investigation. A preliminary report on the crash is expected in about 12 months. Live in Burbank, Leon Suter, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV. TV.